It's time for earnings season again. This is the first quarter that numbers we're going to be getting. It's exciting. And you know what this means? This means we're being led off by the big banks. So I brought my typical chart on the big banks. What's going on with them? They used to be hot. Now they're not. Can they break out again here? We're going to take a contrarian view. Let's check in. Let's find out. First one leading us off is what I consider to be one of the best ones here, JP Morgan. It did miss last quarter, so that was a rare miss there after all those beats, but uh, still has one of the better track records. And as you can see, this is kind of common with a lot of the banking stocks. Kind of stalled out there in 2018, then we had the big sell off at the end of the year. It's rebounded a bit off of that, but still basically kind of stalled out. Some of that is because of the yield inversion and these other fears of the global recession. You don't want to own the banks, but maybe you do. So this is going to be one of the important ones. Uh, Jamie Dimon has already been out there kind of talking about what's going on, but this we're going to hear the specific numbers. This is one you're going to want to tune in on. And then switching over to Wells Fargo, this was always the problem child of the big banks, but now the CEO is out and they're searching for someone new. So that could be the changing of the game here. But as you can see, I mean, these shares have done nothing over the last five years, essentially, just back and forth. And now they're near some of the lows. Maybe that's a buying opportunity here. Um, but I'm going to keep my eye on this one, too, because, again, they got the changing of the guard and that could mean the big difference here. And then we're going to switch over to a bank. I know many of you are like, what? First Republic? What is this? I talk about it every quarter and it has not the greatest track record. As you can see, a lot of misses there in the last couple of years. But these shares look like they're about to break out after selling off pretty big there at the end of 2018. Now, this bank is headquartered in San Francisco and does a lot of wealth management. And so with a lot of IPOs going that are headquartered out in the Bay Area, this bank could be poised to see um, some new clients possibly uh, moving some money into there. So I kind of like the secret bank. You don't get much of a dividend yield with them, but they're all about the growth. And again, the shares have not done anything over the past over a year now. And so we'll see if maybe we can get a breakout here. That would be sending a pretty strong message, actually. And then we're going to get Citigroup. Um, this has been one of my favorites, but look at that. Sell off to end 2018 was really a big buying opportunity for those of you who were going to buy into the boring old banks. That was it has bounced off that, but can we see a further bounce here? They have some of the best track record, just that one miss back in 2015. So that's pretty impressive in this group. And um, this is one of the dark horses here, and we'll see if we can get some more upside. And then we're gonna round it out with Bank of America. This too has a great track record, 11 beats in a row. Pretty big sell off there to end 2018 and the rebound as well. Not near those highs though. Can it get there? Has a pretty juicy dividend and this is one of the most popular holdings in Berkshire Hathaway. You know that Buffett likes all the banks and he owns several of these bigger banks, um, including Wells Fargo, but Bank of America is one of the big positions in his fund over there. So um, this is also one that people are gonna wanna keep an eye on. So the banks don't seem all that boring this time. Yeah, they've been stuck in this narrow range. A lot of them have been treading water, um, especially after the big sell off of 2018. You could have gotten in pretty cheaply there. But is there still more upside to come? Is it going to be a contrarian play here? These are some of the questions we might get some of the answers to this week and starting next week as earnings season kicks off. So you don't want to miss a single episode of these videos. I'm going to be bringing you all the hot names, all the social media stocks, and any of the new ones that just are going IPO. If they are going to report, not sure they will. Probably we might have to wait another quarter. But uh, there's going to be some new names out there. And so tune in. You can subscribe always to get our videos on YouTube. So easy way to get there is just zacks.com slash YouTube. It'll take you right to our YouTube page. You can subscribe and don't miss a single thing. You can also subscribe to my Twitter feed because I'll be tweeting out all these videos and other juicy tidbits about earnings all season long. So get the information somewhere, but go on zacks.com. Don't miss it. And I'll be seeing you again next week with some more earnings videos.